Welcome back, YouTube. And today we're going to be talking about a new platform. New platform to me. It's a new platform in the works. And so hopefully this is a platform that you can use. And again, if you look down in the description, you will be able to see a link to get signed up. Check it out. So let's get into it. This is called Awesuite. So if you're looking for a platform for your clients to share documents, to share um, conversations, to communicate with, and with a team, this is the platform for you. So we're gonna just dive right into it and just take a look at what features this thing has to see if it's something you can use for your business. So here is the website, awesuite.com, and you can look here at uh, the features, solutions, pricing. Yes, you can get signed up for free, and then you have professional, and then you have an agency. So you're gonna get signed up, and once you get logged in, you are going to see your dashboard just like this. So again, we're gonna just go through this, check it out, and uh, see what you think. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our first client. And you can add here a, an individual or a business, or you can make a demo client. And I've got a dummy Gmail account set up, so I wanna show you kinda how the communication within your admin dashboard we'll see on a client dashboard, okay, or a client email. So let's go ahead and create an, um, a new contact and send an email notification to the client with their login details. So I'm gonna save this. Now we have our new client set up. So if we go back to the dashboard, you will see all of the things that are happening within this um, this client or anything that's coming up and to notify you. So we're gonna go in here to one client has never logged in, one active client. So we we'll click here, go into new, and again, this is their dashboard. So what's cool is you can see the customer is going to see this. Welcome to your new client portal. You can now sign in and here is the password that they gave you. Now, going through this with uh, tasks, requests, and conversations, you can create tasks and request tasks and it will show up in your client's email account. All of my clients or most of my clients with my company, they like to just communicate through email. So they can reply from their email and it'll show up in here. You can communicate that way. They cannot create tasks from an email. So you have to initiate the conversation, you have to initiate the task in order for them to reply to you. So that is one thing that hopefully will be worked on in the future. So you could go in here and you can create a test, let's just go test task. Now here is the task. Okay, so you have Jesse Clark assigned to, um, assignee is me, you can assign to a client. You can have a D date, due date rather. You can have um, the status, okay, it's ready for work. And you can actually have um, dependencies. So you can have, if one thing happens, then the next thing happens. So, you, so if one task is completed, another task will then be um, initiated. You can attach uh, labels, files, add a checklist, save this as a template, give it a description. So that is assigning a, um, to a client. So you could say, hey, client X, um, I want you to upload some images for your new website. This is where they would do that. They can log into their dashboard and upload those for you. Next, work journals. So you can just create a new journal. This could be notes, progress, anything that's going on within this project. Conversation, let's start a new conversation. So I'm gonna go test. I'm gonna say this is a test conversation and I'm going to send it. Um, files, this is pretty cool. Um, right now, the project management software that I'm using, I have to use Google Drive, which I love Google Drive. 
Um, but it is nice that this client portal, this platform has a file sharing system that you and your client can stay in one place with. So this is where you just create that. You would have um, all the files that you would need. Okay. Um, passwords. You can share different passwords. Let's just see what this looks like. And you can have user URL, username, and password. This is going to be secure, so only you and your client can access this. Okay. Let's go into the team. So here's everybody on my team. We can just take a look at this. Add to a team, save, etc. So I'm going to go add to a team. Okay. So under my new client project, the client portal here, you can see that I have a new team member. So I can go here to settings and user can access portal, user can access client details. So you can kind of um, give permissions to what you would like. And then again, here is the client details that you can add for this. Okay. Notify client by email when a task is assigned or a file needs approval. So when I did this before, I forgot to turn this on. Let's see if this works now and then it hurries up and gets over to my client. You can see here this little yellow um, circle halo around this actual task means that I sent it and initiated it with the client. When it comes back from the client, it'll be a different color so you can know, um, kind of keep track of those. Okay, now remember when you are adding new tasks or you're adding new conversations or files, passwords, whatever it may be, you need to make sure that you're assigning to the client either here in a task or if you go to conversation and you need to put up here it needs to uh, say client in order for your client to access it you need to click that and you can then uncheck team or no team so then you'll notice that it says client plus all team or it'll say team or just client i want to talk a little bit about uh views and the the tabs here over on the side panel. So let's first take a look at the views. So <clears throat> you're gonna click on the big view button right here, you can't miss it. And let's just say that we wanted to add a welcome video. So I'm gonna save that and then that's gonna show up right here. And it's gonna ask you right here, enter embed code or URL. So you can just, I'm just going to pop in uh, an embed code for one of my YouTube videos so you can see it in action. So I just popped a, a YouTube URL right in here and it just populated this view here. So let's see what it looks like real quick on the customer portal. Go ahead and refresh this. Go back to the portal here and you can see that they have a um, view right here welcome video so this could pop up right from the um, beginning okay so I've added a couple uh, <clears throat> I've added a couple YouTube videos in here under views and if you look down here at the portal options you'll see list views and drop down or list views in the sidebar so what that would look like is right here refresh you go to um, client resources and you will see um, drop down of these or the videos will just show up. The views will show up right here on the sidebar. So that is how the views work. That could be pretty slick for you. Um, so getting back here, you can adjust that here. And um, so the views, just remember, you're going to use for um, any embedding videos, things like that. Uh, calendars, whatever you might have an embed code. Uh, if you go down here, the sidebar, these are by default. You can turn these off and on, or you can just add a custom tab. So I could just put in here, um, log in to edit website, and then I will put here just my website. And I can do same tab or a separate tab. Let's go ahead and... Um, update this let's go back to the portal refresh and then you can see here login to edit website so this just kind of goes to my website and it you can put in whatever 
log it or whatever URL or whatever web page you want. So that is how you can customize the custom portal. This looks like this is what the client will see here. So again, let's look, just take a look. That is adding a new client. Um, you have active tasks that you can see are holding. Um, you're waiting for the client to get back to you. Um, you can edit your profile here. You have different resources that can help you get to know the platform. I do want to take a look at the roadmap that we have. Um, and I can put this link as well down in the description. But um, there's some cool things that are coming into the portal because what are into this platform? So the some of the things that I really wish that it was um, that this this platform has that I need for my business is um, timesheets to be able to track time for a task that I'm working with. And I need clients to be able to email me and I can create a task from that email because I'm, I can never get my clients to uh, go into a portal, into their dashboard. They're just too busy. They're sending me emails on the phone. So that's one thing that I, I need in a platform to run my business. Um, also, I need um, client billing, team payouts. I, I would definitely need to have invoicing for my clients. But these are some of the things that are, are coming through. So again, I want you to go down the description. You can get up more information on the platform. Click on a link to get signed up. Check it out. See if you um, could use this, this platform for you. So if you're looking for something, for, uh, a portal that you can share with your clients, you may have um, a business that you are doing this, that you're sharing, you need your clients to be able to log in and have their own portal that you share with them. And if you're looking for something to, for your team, you and your team to collaborate on to, for conversations and just to kind of keep things in house, this is a great platform. So if anything, sign up for an account, use the free one, free version, get, you know, play around with it and take a look at the roadmap, see if there's anything coming down the pipeline that you can use. Okay, anyways, you guys, I hope you subscribe to my video for my next platform. Shoot me um, a message down in the description to see if there's any other platforms you want me to review. And again, I always have training, one-on-one -on -one training and group sessions for really anything technology. Uh, you can find those on my website, which is also down in the description. So give me a like, subscribe. See you next time.